Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from HTC One Southwater and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM on your HTC One. Now before you do this, you're going to want to make sure that your HTC One is unlocked with 2WRP as a custom recovery. You're also going to want to be sure to back up all your APKs and, and their data because this will wipe your device. It won't wipe the internal memory, but it will wipe all like the app, like your game saves and all that. Okay. So after that, in order to download a ROM, you're going to want to check out the SDA download page for HTC One. Um, you can all go ahead and open it straight up on Chrome. The link to it will be in the full tutorial in the description, so be sure to check that out. Now, once you get onto the page, you'll be able to look through all the different ROMs and pick the one that fits you the best. In this case, I'm going to be using the Android iSchool Project ROM. I'm going to pick that one because it has a lot of the features that are in AOKP, Paranoid Android, Omni, and CyanogenMod. Mod. But it's it's just all wrapped up into one. Um, on that on the original thread page for the ROM, you're gonna want to check if you need the um, GX package or if you need um, Super CID. The GX package is pretty much all the um, Google apps that come pre-installed on most ROMs. But some of the ROMs that are out there, they don't include them just to keep the file size down. So you're gonna want to download them separately and flash them in your recovery as well. A super CID is just needed to increase compatibility with um, more ROMs. Um, it includes uh, more carriers as well. So um, to do the the super CID, it's a really simple process, and it'll take a couple minutes. But in order to do so, you're gonna want to make sure that your device is S off. So um, if you haven't done that yet, be sure to do that before you get started, or just pick a different ROM. So in order to get that going, enable USB debugging on your S off one and then plug it into your um, computer. You, you could use a Mac or PC, or Windows PC to do this, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you have terminal and ADB and fast boot installed on that computer. With the device plugged into your computer, go ahead and type in ADB reboot bootloader. That'll bring your phone to the bootloader menu. And from there, you'll be able to type in the fast boot command that will give you the super CID. So in order to do that, just type in fastboot, OEM, write, CID, space, and then eight ones. Hit enter. Give it a second, and then it'll run the command to change the CID of your device. Once you have that done, go ahead and reboot the device like normally. So just type in fast, fastboot, reboot. All right, now that your device is rebooted and has the Super CID, all you have to do is uh, download the ROM and the GX package if you need it. So in this case, like I said, I'm running the AICP ROM and I had to download the GX package as well. Par the Paranoid Android team keeps a pretty up-to-date um, GX package um, on XDA. So um, there's a link to that in the full tutorial in the description, so just be sure to check that one out and download that package if you need it. After you have both of them installed, you're going to want to reboot your phone into recovery mode. In order to do that, there's two ways to do it. There's the ADB way and then there's the manual way. In ADB, all you have to do is type in ADB reboot recovery. And then to do the manual way, all you have to do is hit the power button and the volume down button for anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. And then it'll reboot into bootloader menu. And then from your bootloader menu, you select recovery. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the manual way. So just hit the power button and the volume down and hold that for 20 seconds. All right, and with your device in the bootloader menu, go ahead and click down to get on a recovery and then confirm it with the power button. After that, you'll just see the top, it says entering recovery and then boot directly right into TWRP. All right, once you're in your TWRP recovery, go ahead and click on the wipe button because we're gonna first get rid of the old ROM that's on the one. So click on advanced swipe, make sure Dalvik system, cache, and data are all selected, and then swipe to wipe. Now that the swipe is finished, click on the home button, go to install, and now first you're going to install the ROM. So just go to wherever you downloaded it, select it, and then swipe to confirm flash. It does take like a minute or two for this to flash, so don't worry if it takes a little bit of time. All right, now that the flash is finished, Click on the home button. Okay, now we have to flash the GX package. If your ROM didn't come with a GX package requirement, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and reboot the phone. But if not, click on install one more time. Click on the GX zip and then swipe to confirm flash. This shouldn't take much longer than it took to flash the ROM. 
now that that flash is complete, I, I usually just wipe the cache and dial it one more time just to make sure I don't get any boot loops or any hangups. After that, click on the home button, click reboot, and then click reboot system. All right, once your device reboots, it'll have to go through the same setup process that you did when you first got the phone. Just go ahead and complete that. If the reboot takes more than like a few minutes, then you may want to just manually restart it by pressing the power and volume down button and just waiting until your phone restarts. Because that could be just something went wrong with the initial boot. And after that, you're all set. I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.